WPS signing products deliver higher standards in selection, beauty and performance. In fact, WPS signing systems offers the broadest selection of exterior, solid phenolic products, styles and colors to achieve a full range of design options. No other company can match WPS siding systems portfolio of products. With all our siding products, we offer freedom of choice for our customers to experiment with style, color and texture. The freedom to be creative, to mix and match and think beyond just four walls. Our customers will appreciate that we are providing them with the products and expertise to achieve their vision, no matter what your vision may be. Higher standards mean focusing our extensive industry experience to help you navigate the challenging construction market. We pledge to support you with educational, installation opportunities. Tools recommended are 1 7 and quarter inch power circular saw or skill saw. 1 power router half inch shank for 45 degree and curves. 1 power trimmer router quarter inch glitz for these edges. 1 10 inch sliding compound miter saw for cutting trims. 6 inch by 10 feet straight edge. 1 small self leveling line laser, horizontal and vertical. 18 volt cordless impact driver. 18 volt cordless drill driver. 2 number of 8 inches wood suction cup for material handling. Pair of saw horse table. Set up cutting table or workstations in well ventilated outdoor area so that any generated dust is carried safely away from workers. If any area with adequate ventilation is not available, an NIOSH approved respirator should be used. To help avoid injury and product damage, lap siding and trim material should always be carried on edge. WPS recommends that these products be carried by two people whenever possible with each person positioned near the end of the load. To carry a plank solo, a person should hold it on edge in the middle with arms spread apart for maximum support of the product. Lifting or carrying siding planks or trim in a flat orientation may break or bend the product. Because of reduced visibility when handling panel products. Take extra care to avoid damaging the corners and edges of the panel as well as items and finishes around the work. When cleaning up dust and debris from cutting siding material, never use a broom or brush if the debris material is dry. Sweeping dry material may send dust particles into the worker's breathing area. Instead, wet down the debris with a fine mist to suppress dust during sweeping or use a vacuum. Waste pieces of phenolic siding material can be disposed of in normal waste containers. WPS Horizontal Lab Siding System products supply as complete panel fabrications, includes, panel cut from 4 to 24 inches height, and 8 feet, 10 and 12 feet length. Panel clips and bottom rail will be standard black anodizes and all optional trims will be clear satin anodized. All aluminum trims will be supplied standard 10 feet, installer to cut per require backing locations. WPS product deliver to every project, utilizing wooden crates for extra protections. Upon arrival of your order, inventory and inspect each panel and all accessories. If there are any signs of damage, note the bill of lading for the time of delivery and document the damage. Failure to do so can make it difficult to file a freight claim. Send a list of damaged materials to WPS and contact your WPS representative for further instructions. It is crucial that damaged panels, accessories, or packaging be reported to WPS as soon as they are discovered. WPS panels should be transported using WPS standard pallets or crates. Bailing bands are to be removed upon delivery. Lift the panels from each stack individually taking care not to scratch or damage any adjacent panels when removing panels from the stack. Panels can be stored horizontally on a flat surface free of debris, or kept on pallets or crates with supports at 12 inches on center, or less. All horizontal surfaces, including panels and pallets, should be covered with a clean membrane or board to protect the panels from damage. Panels need to be stored in an area that is well covered from the elements, cool, ventilated, and dry. These products must be kept covered on a pallet off of the ground. The horizontal lab siding systems is designed to transfer wind loads to the supporting structure. 
the panels and their respective subframing are not designed to contribute to the structural stability of the building. Due to free-flowing air in the cavity behind the panels, the siding panel systems requires a complete weather-resistant barrier on any wall which it is installed. The integrity of the moisture barrier design can be verified by water testing the walls after the moisture barrier is installed and prior to the application of the rain screen panel system. Special attention should be taken at areas where the moisture barrier is interrupted. Interruptions include flashings, windows, doors, scuppers, electrical boxes, pipe penetrations, etc. Prior to installation, verify that the substrate is plumb and square. A system installed out of plumb will result in inconsistent grid lines and improper alignment at fenestrations and other architectural details. Panels installed on an inconsistent substrate will most likely need to be reinstalled. Begin installation by setting up the reference line. It is highly recommended to use a laser level for this procedure. After quality check the building substrate, begin installing the moisture barrier. Install the bottom edge and vertical edges of each wall. The bottom edge of each panel will be jointed to fit onto the bottom rail. LFS 901 LFS 901 LPS 320 Install outside corner with LPS 320 receiver. Install inside corner with LPS 320 receiver. LFS 931 Window Head Details Window Bottom Details Once a reference line is established and the perimeter trim has been installed plumb and square, place the first panel on the wall. Place the LFS 920 panel clips over the top edge of the panel and screw them to the substrate. Insert flat bar provided to create 1 8 inches space between clip and panel to allow panel movement and install screw fasteners to substrate. Repeat for each clip. Repeat this process at each vertical structural member 16 to 24 inches maximum horizontal spacing. Shim and adjust each clip to ensure that the panel is installed plumb and level. All WPS siding systems designed and engineered for allowing panel expand and construct. One fixing point must be installed per panel, after fastening all clips to each siding planks, drill hole at 3 by 32 inches to the panel, one only per siding panel using the provided 4D box nail, allowing panel to stay in the original position. Using the installed LFS 920 clips, install the next row of paneling in a similar fashion to the installation of the bottom row. Continue in this way to the top of the wall. It is important to remove the protective film for each section of adjacent panels immediately after the installation is complete for that section. When you installing vertical joint for 8 feet wide planks, allow 1 8 inch, 
for 10 feet wide planks, allow quarter inch and for 12 feet wide planks, allow 5 16 inch open joint for proper material movements. Install top cap LFS905 engage into LFS920 horizontal panel clips. At that point, refer to the architectural details to determine the top edge detail condition. After installing all siding panels, start installation of all LFS931 trims with LPS320 receiver already installed for all vertical edges, inside, outside corners, windows and doors. At WPS, satisfied clients are our number one priority. To best serve you, our full-time customer service department is available during business hours, and our hands-on signing systems products installation advisor is on standby. This trusted advisor is ready to answer any questions, assist with any install, and provide instant support. Thank you for watching WPS Horizontal Lab Siding Installation video and hope we contribute in your benefit. Please visit us at our website and see more systems installation video and products.